are having some fun in my living room. My friend and I just built the most epic fort ever. Isn't it wonderful? It has a kitchen, a bathroom, a bedroom, and a playroom. It's pretty awesome. This time, I mapped out everything how I wanted it. I saw my uncle making one once, and I thought I could make one too. It happened again, Callie. Oh no, this is the third time this has happened. It keeps falling over when we get really far in building it and I can't figure out why. We have tried over and over to build it on a chair or some pillows. I can't figure it out. Oh, this is frustrating, Callie. Maybe we should give up. I agree. Dad! Yes, honey? Dad, the fort keeps falling over and we can't get it to stay strong. Hmm, let me take a look at your plans. You've got four walls and a really nice concept for your roof. But this right here could be the challenge. You've got three chairs that are different heights as your foundation. You might need to make it a little stronger by adding a chair or another object to keep the walls and roof blankets from caving in. What do you think? I wonder what we could use for the basement when we don't have any chairs. How about this structure? If you add it under the pole, it'll be just right. I'm still not sure if this is gonna work. I've tried everything. Something just isn't right at the bottom of it all. Maybe we can rebuild from the foundation up? You mean start over? Once the foundation is solid, everything else will be too. You know what? I have a Bible story that might help us see how important foundations are. It's time for our Bible story. Today, we will learn a true story about a man named Nicodemus. What was special about him? Nicodemus was a Pharisee who knew God's word very well. But whenever Jesus taught the scripture, Nicodemus noticed that it was a bit different from how he had studied it his whole life. So what did he do? Well, one night, Nicodemus went to talk to Jesus. Why night time? Most likely because he wanted to talk freely without getting interrupted by the crowds or worrying about what other people thought about his questions. Smart. Nicodemus said that he knew that God had sent Jesus because everything Jesus did was beyond what normal people could do. Nicodemus seemed like he was very interested in learning more about Jesus. But before he could ask any of his questions, Jesus told him that people need to be born again in order to go to heaven. What did that mean? That's exactly what Nicodemus thought. He asked Jesus, how can we do that? There is no way we can go back inside our mother's belly and be born again. That's not what Jesus meant at all. By saying this, Jesus was telling Nicodemus that we all need to be forgiven for our sins. Then we need to make the choice to live differently because of that. So start over? Exactly. Let's say you're trying to build something really tall, but your foundation is really shaky. What's the foundation? It's the very bottom of anything you're building, the part that supports everything. If the foundation is not strong and sturdy, everything will fall apart. So instead of just continuing to do things our own way, when we ask God to forgive us and help us start new, we are going back to the beginning and fixing the foundation. God's plan was to save everyone from sin. Every human since Adam and Eve needs Jesus to build a connection to God. And God sent Jesus to do just that because God loves everyone so much. That was an awesome story. Yeah, it was. I learned what a foundation is. That's what was missing from our fort. That's right. I'm glad we can try again though. And now we get to build our fort stronger and bigger. Before my dad told us that we needed to make the bottom of our fort stronger, we spent a lot of time making it look really nice and pretty, but... When it got taller, it got weak and wobbly on the pillow. Just like we needed a strong base for our fort, a good foundation is what helps us build a relationship with God the right way. And when it comes to God's plans for us, love is the foundation of God's plans. Because God's love for us was the reason Jesus was sent to earth. Uh-huh. Love is why God does everything. You want to try and build a new fort together? Absolutely, but with a stronger foundation this time. Well, gotta run, friends. Hope you don't forget what we've learned today. Thanks for growing with me today. Peace.
Peace.